C.D. Lamb showcased his excellence in a standout performance on Thursday Night Football. His evolution was evident from the beginning of training camp in Oxnard in July, signaling a significant leap in his game. Even before the pads were on in Week 2, it was apparent that Lamb had transformed, becoming bulkier yet twitchier, more physical while retaining his elusive style. Five months later, these characteristics are more pronounced than ever in his brief tenure with the Dallas Cowboys. Following another dominant display against the Seattle Seahawks, where he secured 12 receptions for 116 yards and a touchdown, Lamb acknowledged, I wouldn't be where I am without this team, quite honestly. Now, before we go on with the news, I ask you to subscribe to the channel now if you don't want to miss any Dallas Cowboys news firsthand, because we're always up to date with the latest Dallas Cowboys news today, and here you're always up to date on everything, as well as the Dallas Cowboys schedule. Lamb elaborated, stating, doing what they're doing up front, protecting Dak, Dak performing at his best, my fellow receivers, we're all executing what's needed to get open. We're striving to piece it all together. The standout element on Thursday night was the physicality, especially facing arguably the league's most physical secondary. Despite the relentless hits and physical challenges posed by players like Jamal Adams, Tarwoolen, and rookie sensation Devin Witherspoon, Lamb remained unfazed. Instead, he embraced the physicality, retaliating and pushing through to deliver one of his standout performances of the season. There will be moments when I endure hits, he remarked. There will also be instances when I deliver hits. I must treat them equally and, of course, rise again to support my teammates. The game was highly physical, and such challenges are crucial as we approach the crucial stretch. It holds significant importance for us. Lamb's evening commenced with consecutive receptions, amassing 31 yards on the offense's opening drive. He followed this with a third grab on the subsequent drive, culminating in his seventh touchdown of the year, courtesy of a 15-yard pass from Dak Prescott. Reflecting on the play, Lamb stated, We got the look we wanted. Dak put the ball in the perfect position to where the DB couldn't get it. All I had to do was run a route. The victory propels the Cowboys to a 9-3 record after a notable four-game winning streak. The squad's most recent loss dates back to their encounter with the Philadelphia Eagles. Looking ahead, Lamb expressed satisfaction with the win, saying, Obviously, we're happy we came out with a dub, but we're not content. Continuing to build, continuing to get better. Next week, we know who we got. Speculation surrounding the Dallas Cowboys' future with Shaq Leonard continues to circulate. In the event that the Cowboys are unable to secure the star defender, alternative options for linebacker assistance are being considered. Bobby Belt of 105.3 The Fan suggests that four-time pro bowler Anthony Barr could serve as a viable backup if Leonard chooses to sign elsewhere. Barr recently inked a practice squad deal with the Minnesota Vikings, presenting an opportunity for Dallas to potentially sign him to their 53-man roster. During a November 24, 2023 episode of the Love of the Star podcast, Belt provided insights into Barr's recent signing with the Vikings practice squad. He highlighted Barr's practice squad elevation, noting his participation in the Vikings game last Sunday, addressing their linebacker injury concerns. Belt emphasized Barr's familiarity with the Cowboys' defensive system, having played within it previously. Considering the possibility of losing out on Shaquille Leonard, Belt suggests that signing Barr off the practice squad could make sense for the Cowboys. This strategic move would bring in a seasoned veteran who was part of the team last year, already in playing shape and familiar with the defensive schemes. The latest Cowboys rumors indicate that Dallas is poised to receive a decision from Shaq Leonard over the weekend. The Cowboys' primary preference for bolstering their linebacker depth seems to be securing Leonard. Contrary to any concerns about his medical evaluations or his visit to the star, there is no sign that Dallas is hesitant about pursuing him. Leonard, who also visited Philadelphia, is anticipated to finalize his decision during the upcoming weekend. After visiting both the Eagles and Cowboys, Shaq Leonard is expected to carefully consider his options and reach a decision in the coming weekend. NFL Network's Ian Rappaport, on November 29th, highlighted some apprehension among Cowboys fans about Leonard leaving Dallas without a signed deal. 
CBS Sports' Gina Anderson conveyed a positive outlook on Leonard's visit with the Cowboys, stating, As for Leonard's visit with the Cowboys, my understanding is the feeling in Dallas is he can contribute. In a tweet on November 28, don't read anything into Leonard not signing right away. Leonard is being given room right now to make a decision. Though if Leonard chooses Dallas, the current expectation is that he would not play this weekend. Dak Prescott's stellar performance against the Seattle Seahawks has elevated him into the NFL MVP talks, according to Ryan Fitzpatrick. The Dallas Cowboys extended their home winning streak to 14 games, securing a 41-35 shootout victory on Thursday night, with Prescott leading the charge. The quarterback demonstrated his electric play, completing 29 out of 41 passes for 299 yards, delivering three touchdowns without a single interception. Post-game, Ryan Fitzpatrick commended Prescott, stating, Doc, I think he entered the MVP conversation tonight, as reported by David Hellman of Fox Sports. Prescott's season totals include 3,234 passing yards, 26 touchdowns, and just six interceptions. Despite facing strong competition, Prescott's impressive numbers undeniably warrant consideration for the MVP title. Importantly, he continues to deliver standout performances on the big stage, building on his Thanksgiving Day showcase with 331 passing yards and four touchdowns against the Commanders and a remarkable display against the Seahawks on Thursday night football. Prescott, leading the Cowboys to their fourth consecutive win, has them standing at 9-3. Dallas's unbeaten streak follows their early November loss to the Philadelphia Eagles, a game they fell 28-23. Looking ahead, a significant performance against the formidable 10-1 Eagles in the upcoming December 10 rematch could firmly place Prescott in the national MVP conversation. After a sluggish start where Prescott managed multiple touchdowns only once in the Cowboys' initial six games, the quarterback has found his rhythm in the last six matchups. Notably, he threw for 4, 3, 4, 2, 4, and 3 touchdowns, contributing to the team's 4-1 record in that stretch. If Prescott sustains this impressive pace, he undoubtedly becomes a strong contender for the MVP title. In the recent game, Prescott showcased his prowess by throwing 3 touchdown passes, aiding the Cowboys in extending their home winning streak to an impressive 14 games. The thrilling 41-35 victory over the Seattle Seahawks saw Prescott's 12-yard pass to Jake Ferguson securing the win with just four and a half minutes remaining. This triumph sets the stage for a highly anticipated rematch with NFC East rival Philadelphia, as the Cowboys continue their successful streak since the early November setback against the Eagles. Geno Smith revitalized the Seahawks' offense by connecting with DK Metcalf for three touchdown passes, including an impressive 73-yarder. Despite this offensive surge, Seattle couldn't evade a third consecutive loss, marking their descent to a 6-6 record. This situation is notable as the Seahawks find themselves at a 6-6 standing for the first time since splitting their first two games of the season.